Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daria, if you are new here, and this is episode four of Holiday Season Yoga Flows. So today's class is called Move in Harmony. This practice is focused on unifying and connecting the full body, connecting breath and body, and then also rather than isolating specific muscle groups or spaces in the body, we'll be working with a full body flow. So getting everything moving and everything feeling really good. So it's like your body is kind of singing. All you'll need for this class is yourself and some place to move. And when you're ready, let's get into it. We'll start this practice standing at the top of the mat. So find your way there. You can bring the feet either together or hips distance apart, whatever allows you to feel the most anchored and rooted down from your pelvic floor all the way into the earth. And bring your hands down beside you with the palms facing forward and softly close your eyes. Feel all four corners of your feet. Begin to dig down into the earth. Imagine that you're standing on something sandy or something with a lot of texture beneath you. So you can really try to feel the surface. And let your big toes and your big toe mounds settle. And then the pinky toe side of your foot, let that root down. And then feel both of your heels on each side evenly pulling down toward the earth. With the feet deeply rooted, and begin to lift up through the lines of your legs all the way to your pelvic floor. Then sweep from pelvic floor up your spine through the crown of your head and then stretch beyond. And then begin to notice your center of gravity. So you can feel it as though it's like a pitch, like a note. So there's the spaces where it's slightly out of tune if the balance shifts a little bit forward or a little bit back. And then feel right into the midline, right into that place where the pitch rings in its fullest and deepest resonance. Begin to connect breath and body. So feel your inhale as it moves up your spine. And then feel the exhale as it washes away tension from your body. Take a big inhale through your nose. And a big exhale through your mouth to let anything go that's happened in your day so far that you don't need to carry with you moving forward into this practice. Try to feel every fiber of your body equally here in this moment. Feel every muscle, every cell, every bone, and every bit of skin. Blink your eyes open. As you inhale, micro bend your knees, pull up from your pelvic floor, and then sweep your fingertips out and all the way up overhead. And try to stretch evenly into the earth and the sky. As you exhale, reach for your left wrist with your right fingertips. Then grow out of the central column of your body and curl toward the right side of your mat. So the left fingertips stretch up and over and we create an arc in the side body. And take an inhale to reach a little bit longer and then rise back through center under your grip. Switch so that you reach for the right wrist with left fingertips, elongate, and then curl toward the side. And try to keep your right shoulder sliding down your back even as you stretch out through right fingertips. One more inhale here and then rise back through center. Bring your palms to touch, lift your gaze towards your thumbs. As you exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Let this feel really slow and sweet and expansive. Spread your fingertips, spread your toes. Then drop your head as you sprinkle fingertips down. Inhale, find a halfway lift in the spine, stretch forward and back evenly. Then exhale, plant your palms down and step to a high plank. Try to remember which foot you stepped back with first. And we'll hover in high plank for a few rounds of breath, starting to feel activation and engagement through the body. So pull your belly towards your spine. The whole front body is hugging the back body. Can you press down through all of your finger pads really evenly and try to root your index finger mounds. 
Inhale, shift a little forward so your shoulders move in front of your wrists. Exhale, lower slowly, chaturanga for three, for two, for one. Good, untuck your toes and inhale, press to upward facing dog. And try to press the tops of your feet down and then sprout your spine up through the crown of your head. Exhale, downward facing dog, hug belly button to spine and glide your hips up and back. And we'll take a few rounds of breath here in this first downward facing dog of practice. And spread your breath like it's butter down the lines of your legs, from the back of your heart and down the lines of your arms all the way into your hands. As you inhale, gaze between your thumbs, and as you exhale, you can step or float up to the top of your mat, forward fold. Take an inhale for halfway lift to iron out all the creases in your spine, and then an exhale to fold back into yourself. As you inhale, press down through your feet, reach up with your fingertips. As you exhale, right hand reaches for left wrist, reach up and over side body stretch. Inhale through center, exhale, lift your spine and then reach toward the left side of your mat with the right fingertips. Gaze inside right elbow crease. Inhale, exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, elongate, stretch out. Exhale, plant your palms, step back with the other foot first this time to high plank. And once again, we'll hover here. And let your breath be steady and calm and soothing, even as the sensations arise that feel more fiery. And try to notice the different sensations that you're experiencing in your body. Spaces that might feel a bit more open, spaces that might feel more contracted or more activated. And let them all express equally as if it's an orchestra. So noticing all of the different qualities that these instruments of your body, of your sensations can create. Shift forward, lower chaturanga for three, for two, super strong, for one, good. Untuck your toes, inhale, press to upward facing dog. Exhale, glide back, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Try to equalize your inhales and your exhales so that they match in quality and in duration. Create a softening through your face, through all the muscles surrounding your mouth and your jaw and your tongue. And as you inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, step or float to the top for a forward fold. Take an inhale, find a halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, sweep your fingertips high. And this time as you exhale, we'll just swan dive right back down, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms and we'll float back to Chaturanga. Keep your elbows micro bent as you land, then lower down halfway. Untuck your toes and inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Root down into your left toes, and as you inhale, sweep your right leg high for three-legged down dog. Then stack right hip over left and bend your knee. Take a few easy circles, a few easy moments here to feel into all the sensations of your hip joint opening and mobilizing. Reverse the circles, go the other way. Then square your hips, stretch your right leg high. As you exhale, lift your left heel, hug your right knee to your chest, and then as softly, deliberately as you can, land your right foot down at the top of your mat. 
as you inhale, rise up to high crescent lunge. Anchor into your big toe mounds on both feet. Create an action of pulling your feet together, like almost a scissoring effect. And then anchor more deeply through your toes as your fingertips stretch higher. Take one more breath here to draw in at your waist and lift your heart away from your pelvis. As you exhale, twist. Left fingertips go forward, right fingertips go back. And feel an even quality radiating out through both of your arms. So energy is stretching in both directions with harmony. Inhale, rise back through high crescent lunge. As you exhale, we'll open it up to warrior two. Align your feet and then reach out through your fingertips. And try to feel the knife edge of your left foot landing. Allow your hips to settle down evenly and deepen the bend into your right knee. Then stretch forward through right fingertips. You can sprinkle your fingertips down to the front of your right foot if it's available, or if not, bring your elbow to right thigh and we'll find extended side angle. So the left arm reaches up high. Lift your gaze to follow the left fingertips. Allow your left sitting bone and your right sitting bone both to settle underneath you and then Revolve your right ribs towards your left. Draw in at your belly button so it's pulling back towards your spine. Take another breath here to stretch your left arm forward to the top of your mat, getting an even more sensational experience through the left side body. And then revolve back to face the top of your mat. Realign your feet. We're gonna set up now for warrior one. So you can pull the left foot in maybe just slightly so that you can root it down with the toes turned out at 45 degrees. As you inhale, press down through your right heel and then reach your fingertips up high. As you exhale, bring your palms to interlace at the base of your spine. Squeeze your elbows together, puff your heart forward, and then exhale, humble warrior. Bow down so that right shoulder comes to the inside of right knee. Relax the back of your neck. Relax your head forward as if you could melt the crown of your head all the way down to the earth. Take an inhale and find a halfway lift through your spine. So reach back through the base of your pelvis and then forward through the crown of your head. Then lift up tall onto the ball of your left foot. Turn, turn your toes to point forward. Shift more weight into your right leg and then find your way slowly to warrior three, but keep your arms interlaced behind you. Imagine that your wrists are being pulled back while your heart is being pulled toward the top of your mat. Staple your belly button to your spine. Reach back through your left toes and see if you can spread them as you dig the right toes down more deeply. Inhale here. As you exhale, slowly rise all the way up to stand. You can step the left foot down, hips distance away from the right, reach up with your fingertips, and then exhale to fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch out your spine. Exhale, plant your palms and float back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, sweep your left leg high, stack left hip over right, bend your knee and find some circles. Keep your right knee micro bending. And then reverse the direction. And then square your hips, stretch up high through your left toes. As you exhale, lift the right heel, hollow through your core and softly step to the top of your mat, left foot to left thumb. As you inhale, dig down through your feet, reach up tall through your fingertips. And then feel the growth of your spine starting from 
the very, very base, the sacrum. Feel sacrum lift all the way up to the space behind your belly button. Then lift from there through your rib cage all the way up to the crown of your head. One more inhale. As you exhale, take an easy twist, stretch the right fingertips forward and reach back with the left ones. Allow your gaze to sequentially follow the left fingertips all the way around as your spine revolves. Stay connected through your core. And then inhale, rise through high crescent lunge to open up to warrior two. Expand and anchor down. And keep an action of lifting up through your pelvic floor. Keep your breath fluid and sweet and steady. Begin to reach forward into the left fingertips and then sprinkle them down or release your elbow to the top of your left thigh. Reach up with your right arm and gaze toward your right thumbnail with both of your eyes. Feel all the sensations here. Notice if there's any that you want to run away from. And then see if you can actually instead burrow your awareness more deeply into that sensation. Notice its qualities and its textures. Inhale, reach forward through your right arm so that your bicep comes beside your ear. And then exhale, revolve to face the top of your mat. Realign the feet. So you can walk your feet a little closer together. Legs like train tracks, right toes turn out. As you inhale, rise up, warrior one, sweep your fingertips high. Exhale, bring your palms to interlace at the base of your spine. Try to draw the heels of your hands together to touch. Keep a micro bend in your elbows. Then reach your heart forward. And as you exhale, bow into humble warrior. And try to release any ideas that you have of what this shape should look like. But instead, see if you can feel every aspect. Feel the reaching of your heart away from your knuckles. And feel your feet digging down as your head relaxes. Inhale, halfway lift through your spine. Revolve your right toes to face forward. Begin to press down so firmly into your left foot that you can float your right leg up, finding warrior three, and keep your arms exactly as they are. And there's a tug of war here between your hands and your heart. The hands are pulling one direction and the heart is pulling the other way. Inhale. Exhale, rise to stand. Undo the grip of your hands as you step your right foot softly down. Reach up through all 10 fingertips, lift your gaze, and then exhale to sweetly fold forward. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms and float your way back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, swell your heart to the top. Exhale, downward facing dog, glide back. And we'll flow two more rounds through this sequence and we'll link our breath with our movements. As we flow, see if you can feel the natural rising and falling of the postures. And feel like this, these, these dynamics that can express through the different kinds of movements and the different kinds of sensation, but allowing them all to move harmoniously together. So it becomes this really beautiful blend of efforts and ease. On your next inhale, stretch your right leg high. We'll skip the hip opening and exhale to step right through to the top of the mat, right foot lands. Inhale, rise tall, high crescent lunge. Exhale, twist, left fingertips forward, right fingertips back, belly hugs your spine. Inhale, through high lunge. As you exhale, expand, warrior two. 
Inhale here to grow out in every direction. Then exhale, shift forward and bring your hands or your fingertips down to the inside of your right foot as the left fingertips reach skyward. Revolve right ribs toward left, tuck your sitting bone underneath you. Then reach forward through the left arm. One more inhale here. Exhale, face the top of your mat, anchor your fingertips and then realign your feet for warrior one. Press them down as you inhale to rise the fingertips high. As you exhale, find the grip of your hands at the base of your spine. Puff your heart forward and then bow, humble warrior. Let the inhale wash you up to a halfway lift. Then as you exhale, energetically press down into the right foot, lift your left leg back behind you. Warrior three, arms reach back, heart presses forward. And rise up to stand. See how slowly and softly you can land the left foot down as the fingertips reach up. And then exhale, fold forward. Take an inhale here for a halfway lift. As you exhale, this time let's play with crow pose for our transition back to chaturanga. So plant your palms, come up really high onto the balls of your feet, bend your elbows like chaturanga arms. See how high you can draw your knees up onto your triceps or maybe even to your armpits. Gaze forward, play with lifting maybe one foot, maybe both. And then when you're ready, you can play with the transition back to Chaturanga. Maybe it's a float back or maybe not today, whatever you need. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep your left leg high. As you exhale, step softly through to the top of the mat. Press your feet down and inhale, rise, high crescent lunge. Exhale, twist, right fingertips forward, left fingertips stretch back, let your gaze follow them. Inhale, rise, high lunge. And exhale, warrior two, expand, open, broaden your wingspan as your shoulder blades hug the back of your heart. Then inhale to shift your torso forward and exhale, find extended side angle. Left arm down, right arm reaches high. Press through the knife edge of your right foot as you reach your right arm over your ear. Feel that full line along the right side of your body from right fingertips down through knife edge of right foot. Revolve to face the top of your mat. Realign your feet and inhale, rise, warrior one. As you exhale, sprinkle your fingertips down, interlace them, puff your heart forward and then exhale, bow humble warrior. Inhale, ripple through your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, launch forward into the left foot as right toes lift back behind you. Keep all 10 of your toes spread, left toes digging down, right toes skimming the air. Rise to stand, slowly, gently place your right foot to the mat, undo the grip of your arms and reach your fingertips high. Then exhale to fold forward. Take an inhale, halfway lift. On your exhale, place your palms, lift your heels, and play in crow pose just for a breath. Find your way back through chaturanga. Upward facing dog is your inhale. And let the exhale glide you back to downward facing dog. Take a couple moments here to settle, to re-anchor. Find your breath again if you've lost the depth. And then when you're ready, inhale, right leg sweeps skyward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, rises you up to high lunge. Exhale, twist, left fingertips forward, right fingertips back. Feel a really beautiful stretch in the front of your left hip. Then inhale, rise through center. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Reach forward and exhale, extended side angle. Right palm comes down, left arm sweeps up. 
press through knife edge of left foot to draw your right or your left arm all the way overhead and then stretch out longer and longer and longer. So much so that you have to revolve back to face the top of your mat, realign your feet. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Left heel comes down, left toes turn out. Exhale, fingertips interlace at the base of your spine. Hug your heart with your shoulder blades and then bow forward. Catch an inhale breath to ride your wave up to a halfway lift. And then exhale, press forward. Left toes lift back behind you. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, rise to stand. Place your left foot, reach fingertips high, and exhale, fold. And this time, we'll hook the big toes with the peace fingers. So thumb, middle, and index finger. Hook around your big toes, and then press your toes down like you're gonna squish your fingertips into the earth. Stretch your head and your heart forward to the top of your mat. And then as you exhale, fold into yourself, but stay really actively pulling up on your toes as much as you press them down. Draw your belly toward your spine and try to allow the full spine to waterfall forward. Undo your grip. Option here, either to just flow back to Chaturanga or if you like to play with that crow transition, go for it. We'll meet in downward facing dog. And last side, inhale to stretch your left leg high and exhale, step forward, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge, rise fingertips, anchor your feet. Exhale, twist, right fingertips forward, left fingertips reach back. Inhale, through high lunge. Exhale, warrior two, expand. Take an inhale here to sweep your fingertips forward. And then on the exhale, left palm or fingertips come down, right arm reaches high. And begin to stretch forward and then try to feel feet rooting down even more. Imagine that you're growing branches out from your spine beyond the boundaries of fingertips and toes. Then revolve back to face the top of your mat. Align your feet for warrior one. Inhale to rise. Exhale softly, bring your fingertips to interlace back behind you. Stretch your heart forward and then bow. Inhale, halfway lift, dig your toes down to stabilize. Then exhale, launch forward, lift your right leg back behind you. Take one inhale here, and then an exhale to rise to stand. Root your right foot, reach your fingertips up, and exhale, bow forward. And let's find ragdoll, so the feet are hips distance apart. Drop your head and do whatever you want with your hands. And let this feel like a big, big release. <sighs> Open mouth, exhale, or a sigh if you need one. And start to play with what it feels like to shift your weight just barely forward and just barely back. And then play with the same thing moving laterally, so from right to left. Noticing how these super subtle shifts in the balance have a ripple effect through the rest of your body. Plant your palms and one last time we'll find chaturanga. So any way you wanna get there, whether that's crow or handstand or just stepping back. And then we'll meet again in down dog. In down dog, once you arrive, take a big inhale through your nose. Feel like the earth is rushing up through your hands and your feet all the way to the tops of your lungs. And then let a big sigh out through your mouth. And 
And slowly sink both of your knees down to the mat at the very same time and then shift back to a seat. Swing your legs around to the top of your mat. We'll come to lie on our backs. So reach forward with your fingertips and then super slowly so we can feel the core engagement. We'll lower down for five. For four, hug front body to back body for three, four, two. And for one, good. Shoulder blades come down and the back of the head releases. And we'll take a gomukhasana, but supine shape. So cross your right knee over your left, then lift all your toes away from the mat and see if you can reach with your hands to grab for opposite ankles. So the left hand comes to the right ankle and right hand comes to left. And then gently pull your knees in toward your chest. And the knees are stacked or at least somewhat stacked. And try to keep your tailbone and your sacrum anchored. And if it feels okay here, close your eyes and allow yourself to become immersed in the sensation that you're feeling. And the quieter that we're able to be, the more we're able to sense some of the more intuitive and subtle aspects of the sensations and of the openings. Gently release and switch. So the left leg will thread over the top of the right. And bend both of your knees and then reach for your opposite ankles with your hands. You might have to lift your head a bit to find this connection. And then once you have it, you can release back down. If it's feeling really intense to grab for the ankles, you can try just hugging your knees in towards your chest. Keep the feet a little flexed and imagine that you're pressing your big toe mounds against walls to either side. Take one more inhale here. And let one last exhale wash through and release something. Good, uncross your legs and we'll open the arms out to a cactus shape. Pull your knees in about halfway towards your chest and then just find an easy, easy twist so the, the knees can fall toward the left side of the mat. And let your gaze revolve toward your right elbow. Try to relax through all the lines of your legs. Let go of all of the muscles, all of the engagements. And as you relax, feel the relaxation become harmonious. And feel it echo and reverberate through every fiber. And roll through center and then Twist the other direction so the knees can fall to the right. You can pick up your hips and readjust as you need. And then flicker your gaze over the left elbow. Let your toes soften and expand. Let your fingers relax and all the joints and knuckles in your fingers, let those go too. And roll back through the center and then hug yourself in nice and tight. Knees pull toward chest, forearms wrap around your shins, curl in, take a big inhale breath. And on the exhale, drop down into Shavasana. Legs reach for the wide edges of your mat, toes fall open, palms face skyward. See how smoothly you can transition from the more active part of the practice to this drop, this rest.
Allow your thoughts to rest as well. Any worries, any anxieties. Just know that they're there and know that they can rest for this moment so that you can rest. Send your awareness to your face and calm down the lines, relaxing the jaw. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. And then feel yourself become magnetized toward the very core of the earth. Begin to gracefully and sweetly call your awareness back by deepening your breath. Start to imagine that the front line of your body is illuminating with a soft glow. And let yourself radiate into the atmosphere above you. And then fill the back line of your body with that same glow and let it press down into the earth. And then feel your full body all at once lit up with this warm inside out kind of glow, like an incandescence. Begin to flicker movements back into your fingers and your toes. And when you're ready, find a really long stretch with the toes going forward and the arms reaching back. Feel evenly as the sides of your body lengthen. And then as lazily as possible, roll to fetal pose wherever you wanna go, whichever side, and drop your head, drop your hands. Press down and rise to a seat, keeping your eyes closed if you can. Root left and right sitting bone at the same time in the same way down to the earth and then stretch through the tips of your ears all the way to the sky. Bring your palms to meet in front of your heart. Feel all the points of connection between right hand and left hand and then feel your thumbs connect to your sternum. Take a breath into all the harmony you can experience in your full body at once. And one last exhale to drop anything else you don't need to be holding. Then lift your heart subtly up towards your brain and bow your brain slightly towards your chest. Tuck your chin. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me and finding some harmonious exploration through the body, the breath, and the mind. I hope you're having a really great holiday season. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. If you're not already, go down below and subscribe to my channel because that really supports me. And I will see you really soon in another class. Bye. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never